All right, guys, now this is a big one and I've been working on it for a while now. Hey, dumpster divers, and welcome back to my trash ass YouTube channel, where today we are going to see if I'm actually learning anything in architecture school because I designed a Barbie house. It's just like concept for Mattel. I haven't figured out like everything, like where hinges would go and how things have been done, but it's just like concept. And so I have everything rendered out and I thought it would just be really interesting to kind of show you like what I was thinking, why I designed it this way, what I thought would be like a more realistic design for Mattel's cheap asses, etc. While keeping some of the like 1960s like glam of Barbie making it more mid-century, etc. So one of the first things I wanted to show you was the front facade of the home. It's very much like a 1950s, like, butterfly roof pattern and everything. And I believe it's gonna be about two and a half feet tall. And it's supposed to be, like, a fold-up concept where you could have, like, a little handle on top and carry it with you. And it's not quite a mini house because it is two stories. And Barbie is roughly like 11 and a half inches, one six scale, but she's really tall for her scale. So yeah, I believe this house is about two and a half feet tall at most. And that would make it about two feet wide, something like that, two and a or two feet wide or like 18 inches. I can't super duper remember. But so on the facade, I just kind of have like this horizontal window shape going up, hiding everything inside of it so you can put all your accessories and Barbie in there and they can travel safely. And then on the front facade, I just have two windows and then the totally real Barbie house door. I wanted to make sure that that got put on there. And then we just have like standard like wood side cladding. Then on the side, you can see it turns into brick. There's a balcony for Barbie to go step out onto. And then I just put some cheesy little stickers on it. Like maybe you could do like a sunflower motif, a sun motif, just some plants growing up the side, etc. And I just thought they'd be cute little stickers that you could apply like wherever you want. And then if we flip the house around, you can see the back facade. And I just put another sticker there where it's like a tree growing up. There's more of like the wood siding and then everything else becomes brick. You can see the top bedroom window and the bottom kitchen window. And then on the side, I just put a giant 1959. So that could be like the address. You could put it as like, oh yeah, why don't you, like if you're ordering DoorDash, some Taco Bell, what's your address? And it's like 1959 Malibu Street. Okay, and then in this render, it's just kind of like showcasing the fact that it can open up and swing out. And then that'll be like the basis of like the living room floor. And then once you're in it, that like facade, uh, like the front facade where the windows are kind of like fakey. They open up to just like plastic open slats and you can look into the bedroom and then pull that wall out and stabilize the house. And then you've opened up the whole concept. And then in this render, you can see the bottom floor. There's like a wood floor pattern to show like the indoor space. And then there's like a deck pattern going juxtaposed to it where it's just showing like the outdoor deck space. You can see the little staircase going up to the bedroom a wall that you could put like wall art stickers on there's a bathroom in the back the kitchen you can see barbie's closet shelves and her bedroom all right and then once it's all opened and the furniture is inside of it this is kind of like what i was thinking if you're looking at it from the front um i put a peaches and cream barbie in there so you could kind of see like to scale how she would fit but her bedroom's upstairs we have like little accessories on the shelf like books and a dollhouse there's a computer chair a window a bed then you come down stairs and you can see like outdoor on the deck we have a cute little barbecue there's a little outdoor like chair and then an umbrella and then we can come into the space you can see like we have a pink couch a tv a little TV stand and then underneath one of the stairs I thought it'd be cute to put like one of those vintage like 60s looking fireplaces um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to put it there but like this isn't like a real house it's a Barbie house it's fantasy it's camp we're having fun you know 
So let's move into the bedroom render. Inside of here, we have like this Barbie wallpaper on the back. I thought it'd just be cute to have like different kinds of Barbie typography on the back. A solid pink wall, obviously, because it's Barbie. And then this blue trim around for like the Malibu, like 1971 eyeshadow kind of look. I just wanted that like incorporated into the color palette. This rug, <laughs> it's the only rug that was available in like the rendering software that wasn't like super boring. So I'm not really thinking like zebra. I was thinking more like fluffy, poofy, like lavender or something. But this is just what I had at the moment because I was too lazy to Photoshop one in. And then the bed, it's just very like simplistic, like purple comforter, a bed skirt, some pillows, a purpley kind of computer chair, a laptop, and then I'll just, I just want like fun little accessories to put all over the shelves. So we've got like books, a dollhouse, a plant, an alarm clock, and then this um, beautiful like pink chrome like 50s looking chandelier just right above the bed for some lighting. I just thought that that would be cute. And then all can lead out to the balcony which would just be like um, curved plastic and then Barbie could just go out there and like have a cigarette or whatever, you know? And then we go down into the bathroom render and the bathroom's just a tiny little place where it has like a removable vanity and mirror, a little movable toilet, a washer dryer you could move anywhere that would actually work and you could like press a button on the top and it would spin Barbie's clothes. And then in the bathroom, I kind of wanted like this magnetic shower kind of situation so we'd put like maybe like a metal ceiling plate up there put the shower in there so that you can move the shower wherever you want in the bathroom as well and then it's just a ring with like some plastic shower curtain on it <laughs> oops yeah I forgot to show you um in the Barbie bedroom I wanted to incorporate like an actual working closet for storage and everything so it would have like two little plastic doors that you open and one of them just has like little boxes that you could put like accessories inside of or if you have heeled barbie shoes they can just hang off the side a mirror so she could see what outfit she's wearing a shelf on top um a hanger for like all of her stuff that hangs and then a little drawer underneath that you could put more accessories inside of for storage. Totally forgot that I designed that because that was more like last minute. Okay, and then we have the kitchen render where um, we have like, I just wanted like a pink chrome stainless steel looking ass fridge. I just wanted that to be like very centerpiece, like very much like in the kitchen. And then on the backsplash, we just have like some blue tile, some wainscoting on the bottom to kind of help break up the pattern and everything, some corner windows to let in some light into the kitchen, this yellow cabinet that also has our oven, microwave, and then some storage inside of it. And then our sink also has some storage underneath. I would want all the doors to work and the drawers to work, etc. And then the kitchen sink is where you could like wash dishes, do whatever. We have the dining room set. It just has like some plates, some mugs, some silverware, a cute little candelabra in the middle, and then four chairs going around. And yeah, I just thought it'd be like a cute little kitchen concept. Nothing crazy, um, just very much Barbie where they do like, well, I think now they do like a dining set with like two whole ass chairs and that's it and they call it a day. We'll zoom in to look at, check out the front room a little bit more. Um, I put an Andy Warhol like painting sticker on the back wall right there and then kind of just arranged it how I figured the furniture pieces would work where like the pink couch is kind of on the back here. We have some plants, a coffee table, another like maybe just like really thin fabric rug that you can move around, do whatever. One of the Mies van der Rohe Barcelona chairs, but like blue to make it like more Barbie friendly and pink and fun. The TV stand, I wanted it to look a little retro, but modern. And then the TV is just like a nice little flat screen. And then maybe you could put like one of the current day Barbie movies on it or something like that, you know? So yeah, if we zoom back out, that's kind of like just the Barbie house overall. I just wanted it to be, since it was like my first one and like it's all conceptual, I just wanted it to be like really easy more playline. It might be like a little more expensive with all the accessories I'd want to put in. Obviously, if I were pitching this to Mattel, I would put in all those accessories, have them edit out what they thought would be too cost ineffective, and then we'd do another iteration. 
But this is like my first iteration. Just let me know what you guys think. Um, we'll we'll like consider this like a critique where you can just let me know like, hey, maybe you should have thought of this or this would be kind of cool or this didn't really work or whatever. Just let me know. It won't hurt my feelings. I'm an architecture student. It's very much like in my day to day. Thank you guys so much. I just wanted you to see like my architecture and my doll hobby stuff kind of like colliding. And I already have ideas for like another Barbie house if I plan to do one of these in the future. It kind of took me a while. It was kind of a pain in the ass because I just basically created it in SketchUp and then rendered it in Lumion. There's no post-production. I could probably Photoshop some stuff better if I wasn't being lazy, etc. But for right now, I think it's a fun start. All right, guys, I will see you in my next episode where I do a TikTok live of my own circumcision. Barbie totally real house.